What's up everybody on Charleston Car Videos. Today I want to give back a little bit of a video that I can offer to somebody on the channel today for doing a great job on his car and this summer he's doing something really special. Uh, this young man is only around 17 years old, works here at Volkswagen, works hard here at Volkswagen while he goes to school. His dad's a finance manager inside and uh, in just a minute he's going to be pulling up his vehicle which is really a cool car. It's a 1968 Chevrolet Chevelle and uh, he's going to pull it up in a second. So uh, let's go ahead and get the camera ready so he pulls up and you can see it. So here we go. Again, it's a 1968 Chevrolet Chevelle. And uh, we're filming it today because we're going to be doing a before and after. And this is part of the before and after video series on his car. So um, we'll let this lady pass by real quickly in her Volkswagen. Of course, it does got the uh, V8 up under the hood. Look how wide that car is. I mean, in 1968, this is how it was, folks. And you can kind of see some of the muscle cars out there, like your Dodge Challengers and stuff, are having that look, that wide body stance right there. Now, um, so 1968 Chevelle, you said it's got the what under the hood? The three, 307, right? 307. That engine, when you do it, it's going to be totally... The engine will be the same under there. You're leaving that motor in. Uh, my name's Chandler Metz. I got a 1968 Chevelle. Um, Malibu 307 two-speed power glide. And tell everybody, so uh, right now you're going to get ready to start this summer 2017 with painting it and getting the interior done. Mm -hmm. And then you got some plans for the motor. What would that be? Um, I want to take this motor out and probably uh, rebuild it <clears throat> and then drop a, um, a 350 that's bored out to a 383 stroker. Um, give it a little bit more power and make it more of a muscle car than a cruiser. And tell everybody, uh, you and your dad are going to paint the car together this summer. Tell everybody what color scheme you're going with and kind of what you're doing. Um, I'm going to be doing a matador red on the entire car, get rid of the top, and then uh, do two black vinyl stripes that come down to about right here on the hood and then on the back trunk. Cool. And then you're going to do also black interior with the carpeting, mm -hmm. redo the seats. Black interior and then do a little bit of red accents here and there on the dash and stuff like that. Cool. All right, guys, I'm going to take the camera and kind of flow around his car. And uh, actually, let's go ahead and let this, uh, this white parts van go on past by us. So anyways, as you can see, he's going with a nice red on here, racing stripes. You know, he's going to probably get rid of the black top, do red up there with the stripes rolling over. You know, it's a really clean vehicle, folks. So it's a Chevelle Malibu. Chevelle Malibu, yeah. So if someone says what kind of car that is, what do you say? It's a 68 Chevelle Malibu. There you go. All right, that's what it is. It's the submodel. Malibu's the submodel. Okay. Dual exhaust. I mean, you know, folks, it already is pretty clean for the most part. I mean, that blue paint does have some shine to it. But I think he's about ready to just change it all up. And that's what us guys love doing. Let's, uh, let's see if uh, he can give us a ride down the road and see what this little puppy does. Oh boy. Can, can, we, can we hop in and just give me a little ride down the road? Is that cool? Yeah, if you want. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to the door. Yeah. Now you don't want to ride my truck? You're next. You want to ride over there? You're next. You're next, seriously. Be ready. Go ahead and get the AC ready. And right. now, 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 that's a gentleman, ladies. I want to let you know right now off the get-go, if you want to go on a date with him, he's going to open up the door, okay? That's 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 really, that's really a southern gentleman for you, okay? <laughs> All right. Now, and look, ladies, I want you also to know, look how clean his car is. I mean, this is clean. Ooh, this is very nice. Jason, I just want to let you know you've done a great job raising this young man, and I can uh, only hope to do the same with mine. All right, this is cool. All right. Yeah. Of course, he's got the subs in the back for a little boom boom going on, you know, a little bass. Will that bass kind of shake the mirrors a little bit? Uh, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I just got a new um, new little amp back there. My other uh -huh. one blew up. So. Now, from what he told me earlier off camera, he's the third owner of this vehicle, and um. Of course, my phone would ring right while I'm filming. Hey, Nicole, can I call you right back? Okay, I'll call you back. I'm in the middle of a test drive. All right, bye. Oh, wow. 
Okay, it's got some get up, folks. I mean, that's not bad. It, it gets up and rolls. That's about that's about it. That's fine. That's really? it'll go because it's only got uh, two, uh -huh. the two gears. So it just changes the second at about 40, 45, mm -hmm. and then that's it. it just that's goes, it. it just goes, and that's it. <laughs> Almost like a CVT transmission. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna do a, um when I do the motor. I'm probably gonna do a transmission swap as well and do a four-speed automatic. Uh huh. Uh, turbo 400 or 200. Okay, that's cool. Now, how's this thing do on fuel consumption? Um, it's not that bad. <laughs> it is carbureted, so anything really carbureted doesn't really get too good. Uh -huh. But um, I recently drove to Polly's Island and back, and I averaged about 18 on the highway. Okay. And uh, but around the city on premium, I get I get about like 13, 14. That's pretty good, man. That's not bad. Yeah, not right. bad for a V8. No, and you and you know he doesn't live just right down the road from the Volkswagen store either. You got a little bit of a drive. Yeah. So would you, is it filling up maybe once a week? Um, yeah, about, about yeah. once a week. Yeah. How many gallons is it holding the tank, you know? Uh, it's, a, it's either a 17 or a 20 gallon. Okay. I can't, um, I've looked it up, but I can't really ever tell. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, this this takes you back in time. Now, was this your first car? This is my first car. And, what, and how, how did you, how, I mean, what made it? this be your first car I mean I don't know you know did you see it somewhere up for sale or how how did you get it? I um I've I always wanted one a Chevelle um, but I, uh, I just don't like the way newer cars look they just all kind of look the same to me and I like these older cars they they have personality mm -hmm. and I really I really like that about um, older cars but oh. um, I saw it online posted in uh, Rock Hills because I had been looking for one and um, <clears throat> I was posted for 8500 and I had a lot of money saved up from um, like from family and stuff like that so we drove up there and put it on a wrecker and drove it back there you go so Rock Hill South Carolina if anybody doesn't know that's kind of on the border of North Carolina South Carolina up there by Carowinds mm -hmm. uh, theme park cool and you've enjoyed the car for the most part uh, yeah I got it before I started driving I was 15 whenever I bought the car and so I had to wait a really long time like about a year until I got my license to start actually driving it yeah but um was that tough yeah I saw it, it was like sitting in the backyard I had a car cover on and uh -huh. I'd, go, I'd go out there like every day and just crank it up just, <laughs> just in, and just sit in it but um that's cool only thing I can complain about this car it doesn't really ever give me any trouble really other than just normal, mm -hmm. normal maintenance it's the original motor I got about 64,000 miles um and uh, only thing is the no AC no AC. <laughs> no, yeah, didn't come with AC. Now, is that something you can add in if you'd like to? I could. Um, I'd have to get a pulley system and get the vents drilled in and everything. But it, the whole oh, there's no vents at all. Mm -mm, no, oh, I got yeah. a, I got an under dash unit under here for the heater. That's what they came with. Okay. But um. But yeah. So people back in the day just rolled the windows down. Yeah, in. they got the like, little triangle window. That, so that's what that's for. Yeah, it turns in like this. Oh, and that puts the air on you. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Uh, you know, I always wondered what that was. Now we know. <laughs> well, thanks for giving us a ride, man. Yes, sir. And folks, just stay tuned on the channel, Charleston Car Videos. We will do an update later on this summer when he gets the car repainted and all. And uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, I'm excited too. Yeah, man. Well, keep working hard and you'll get it done. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and as always, folks, come on down to Stokes Volkswagen and do some business with us. we got a great amount of inventory on ground. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.